Hey everyone, so I've got another comedy DVD review today and this is Sarah Milken Chatterbox. Now I was desperate to buy this. It came out I think the week after Jason Lanford's and Mickey Flanagan's and things. And I thought, right, I'm wanting both Jason's and Sarah's and I'm going to buy one now and I'm going to buy one sort of leading up to Christmas. And I bought Jason's first and I don't regret that at all because it was great. But then I bought this and I watched it and I watched it again and it is the best thing in the world. So we'll just take a quick look at the DVD. I don't keep covers anymore but for those who like to have them on their shelf, you know, it's very attractive. You know, the red is popping out with you there and Sarah looks great. Little snaps on the back there and the, the DVD itself reflects the cover and you've got a leaflet for Thoroughly Modern Milken. Um, she is coming to Sunderland. I don't have a ticket but um, that's nothing I can do about that now. This is a 15. I will point that out straight away. And that is quite a generous rating, I'll be honest with you. She's on stage, I think it's an hour and 45 minutes or something, the actual show itself. And it's a lot stronger than what she's like on television. Obviously when something is televised, especially if it's pre-watershed, and even if it's post-watershed, sometimes there are quite strong restrictions. She does have to limit what she says and not swear as much and not be as vulgar. When you see her, for example, live, in whether DVD format or actually live in person, she is so much more, I don't want to say rude, because it's not rude, she's just so more spoken, she's so so more truthful, I guess, with what she's saying and what she is on television. Um, she does swear a lot more. A lot of the jokes she normally tells and the anecdotes she normally goes on about are the same sometimes. You know, there's a lot of fresh material in the DVD, but there are a couple of recycled ones you may be familiar with. But because she's telling them with a new a new strength to them, they sound like new material and it's really interesting to see and you're and she'll say something and you're like, What? Did did you honestly just say that? And a lot of the things she says is outrageous and you do sort of gasp and then laugh uncontrollably at what she's saying because it's so unexpected and it's just great fun. I'll be honest, probably one of the funniest comedy DVDs I own. I love it and as I said I've watched it twice already. I will probably, once I turn this video off, go and put it on again in the background because I love every aspect of it. There's also a lot of audience participation in this, a lot more than any other, you know, any comedy DVD I've got or any stand-up show I've been to. I'd say there's a good, sort of, third of it, which is her talking to the audience and um, asking them questions and having their input for it, which I think is really good because obviously if you've seen this tour, um, if you've been to it but you didn't go to the recording, it'd be nice to see it again but with a different sort of aspect to it because obviously the audience are always going to give you a different input. So I do like that aspect. Now I didn't go and see the tour, sadly, but there's a, there's, you know, every cloud has a silver lining there. And it is just absolutely phenomenal. Without a doubt, my fa you know, I've seen her live at the Apollo Clips and other, other sets and things, but for me this is without a doubt the best one. I think she's in her element when she when she can say whatever she wants about whatever she likes in any which way she chooses to deliver it and I there's not a single thing wrong with it. There are also some extras on here. Um, there's Sarah's top tips for divorce. All of those I've heard before um, but it's nice to be able to just listen again because they are absolutely hilarious. Um, her Royal Variety performance. Most of the information on the Royal Variety performance is in the actual performance on the DVD but it's nice to see the Royals reactions and things. It's it's, it's nice to get that different light on it and also it's slightly more toned down as well of course. Um, Sarah interviewed by um, comedian Joe. Hilarious interview, she eats cake, she punches him. Everything that could be right about an interview is in that. It's great fun and um, that's about 10 minutes I think. It's not overly long. And um, the Royal Variety performances, uh, well, how long are they meant to be? Just under 10 minutes as well. So that's cool. Um, and then you have The Hair of the Dead which is a short play she wrote and performed I believe for Fringe. Could be wrong. Um, well, to, in conjunction with Fringe for Radio ah, 4, possibly. Um, anyway, yeah, so it is absolutely sensational. I think I paid about 11 or £12 pound for this. It's still the same price. You know, this was only released a month ago. And I love everything about this. Definitely, she is my favourite comedian on par with Caroline Ray. Sarah Milken, Caroline Ray. Quite similar styles, I think. Um, I think Sarah's a little bit more upfront with her com with her comedian, with her comedy. But well, they're both very similar and I love them both on equal levels. Definitely, as I said, my, one of my favourite... I can't even speak today. One of my favourite stand-up DVDs. I love every aspect of it. The price, the, the features, the actual length, the content. Sarah herself, it's all sensational. I cannot pick this up enough. Please feel free to leave comments on this. Let me know your favourite Sarah Milliken jokes and I'll see you all next time. Bye!